In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Greetings, God's good people, and welcome. Today is Wednesday, the 8th of April, 2020. It is Wednesday of Holy Week. You are listening to Catholic Meditation with me, Father Blessed. Thanks for joining us. Let us pray. O God, who willed your Son to submit for our sake to the yoke of the cross, so that you might drive from us the power of the enemy, grant us your servants to attain the grace of the resurrection through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. First reading from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 50, verses 4 to 9. The Gospel from St. Matthew, chapter 26, verses 14 to 25. I read from the Gospel. At that time, one of the twelve, who was called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priests and said, What will you give me if I deliver him to you? And they paid him thirty pieces of silver. And from that moment, he sought an opportunity to betray him. Now, on the first day of unleavened bread, the disciples came to Jesus, saying, Where will you have us prepare for you to eat the Passover? He said, Go into the city to search a one and say to him, The teacher says, My time is at hand. I will keep the Passover at your house with my disciples. And the disciples did as Jesus had directed them, and they prepared the Passover. When it was evening, he sat at table with the twelve disciples, and as they were eating, he said, Truly I say to you, one of you will betray me. And they were very sorrowful and began to say to him one after another, Is it I? Lord, he answered, He who has dipped his hand in the dish with me will betray me. The Son of Man goes as is written of him, but woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would have been better for that man if he had not been born. Judas, who betrayed him, said, Is it I, Master? He said to him, You have said so. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Do not make yourself available for the devil's use. Do not make yourself available for the devil's use. Dear friends, as the drama continues to unfold, we see the characters and what they do. Today, Focus is on Judas Iscariot 
and the rule he please. The gospel tells us that Judas is ready and very willing to sell Jesus out. He makes himself available as the means through which Jesus would be handed to his enemies. He tells the chief priests and the Pharisees that he is ready to hand over Jesus to them, but for a price. And they are happy and offer him 30 pieces of silver. Through him, that is Judas, Jesus is handed over. Some who listen to Judas's story with Jesus try to be his advocate, buying his case by not blaming him. Their argument is, he was simply fulfilling scripture and what had been written, so why blame him? True, it was written that Jesus had to die on the cross, but it was not written that it must be Judas to sell him. The Pharisees and chief priests had many other options and opportunities to arrest Jesus. On many occasions, they wanted to do so before. It was not as if Jesus was hidden. He was always around them. So if they wanted to, they would have done it on their own. They did not need a Judas. But by Judas offering his services and making himself available, he made their work much easier. For this reason, Jesus says, The Son of Man goes as is written of him, but woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. In a similar sense, temptation is not a sin till we give in to it. But Jesus says, Alas for the one who stands on the way of another as temptation. Luke chapter 17 verse 1. Temptations are sure to come, but woe to anyone through whom they come. That temptation is not a sin does not mean you should go around tempting people. Because if at the end they fall and sin, alas for you by whom they fall. This is where Judas carries the blame. The devil was looking for someone to use and Judas made himself available for the devil's use. The devil could make use of Judas because of his character. He was greedy and a lover of money. Besides, he was far away from the community. While others were together with Jesus, we are told he left. The devil could thus use him. St. Peter in his letter warns, Be careful and vigilant, because your enemy, the devil, is prowling round looking for someone to devour or use. 1 Peter chapter 5, verses 8-9 to Do not give the devil a chance to use you. Do not give yourself to the devil. Do not make yourself available for him. The devil has many things he wants to achieve in our world. He is looking for agents, those whom he will use. He has seen a very good man and he wants to destroy him. But whom shall he use? He has seen that very kind woman and he wants to kill her. But whom shall he use? He has seen that very beautiful couple and how they enjoy their marriage. He wants to destroy the marriage. But whom shall he use? He needs an agent. Do not make yourself available as the devil's sales agent to carry out his plan. This is what Judas did. He made himself available for the devil's use. How can you avoid being the devil's sales agent? Check your anger. Check your pride. Check your jealousy. Check your flippant tongue. Check your idleness. Check your laziness. Check your greed. Check your lust. Check that desire you have never to forgive because the devil will always take advantage of our weaknesses, of our weak points, and he will use you and make you do what will later make you regret. 
also to avoid being used by the devil, stay very close to Jesus. Do not go far away from him like Judas left. If you do, you become loose and vulnerable. Stay close to him in prayer. Mary, a blessed mother, made herself available for God's use to bring forth the Savior to the world because she was prayerful and humble. Judas, on the contrary, made himself available for the devil's use to kill the Savior because of his greed and love of money. What do you make yourself available for? God's use or the devil's use? Do not be quick to say, no, I beg of God's use. How can you know? When you are an agent of hate, envy, and jealousy, when you are a manufacturing machine of lies and violence, then it is simple. The devil is using you. You have become the devil's agent. But when you are a peace lover, when you are very prayerful, and you are a bridge for love and reconciliation, then you are making yourself available for God's use. Let us pray this day, therefore, to make ourselves available for God and not for the devil. Watch your weaknesses and your weak points, because the devil will use that jealousy, that anger, and you will kill someone, the one he wanted to destroy. Do not make yourself available for the devil's use. Prayer to our Blessed Mother during the coronavirus pandemic. O Mary, you shine continuously along our journey as a sign of salvation and hope. We entrust ourselves to you, health of the sick, who at the cross were near to the pain of Jesus, keeping your faith firm. You, intercessor of all people, know what we need and we trust that you will provide for those needs so that, as at Cana of Galilee, Joy and celebration may return after this moment of trial. Help us, Mother of Divine Love, to conform ourselves to the will of the Father and to do what Jesus tells us. He who took our sufferings upon himself and took up our sorrows to bring us through the cross to the joy of the resurrection. Amen. We seek refuge under your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our pleas. We who are put to the test and deliver us from every danger, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son and the Holy Spirit come on you and remain with you forever. Amen.